Okay, so this stopped here at our first yard. Uh, this is kind of our flagship yard. We're going to expand it. There's 20 hives here. Uh, no deads yet this year. Uh, there's no pails on any of these guys yet. Truck just stalled. See? Beauty. Okay. Um, put some open feet out the other day. They're still hitting the pollen. You can see. But there's a lot more bees here. My other yards, you could see they're bringing in natural stuff already. Which, obviously, there should be... When I first put this out, you saw there was a lot more. There's my open feeder. But... I don't know if you can see in there, but... There's still some left. Oh, yeah, there's lots left in there. I'll leave that for now. My other yard is empty, so I gotta go fill the open feeder and I'll put pails on. Just because they're weaker. This one here was a hive. That's like a dead bee right there. That uh, was in my winter shed, and there was like a handful of bees left. Uh, and then I found the queen, and I don't know, I'm such a small beekeeper, I couldn't shake it out. I should have, but. So I just took a frame from a real strong hive. My shadow there. See those bees got feed on there, and I uh, threw it in. I'll take that off. Hopefully, I don't get stung. So nothing fancy, but you know, you give that another three weeks, and this hive's just going to be booming. So that saved that hive. So that's something you can do. Anyways, so here what I did, I just took a honey container. Right, and I just poked a bunch of little holes in there with uh, uh, O-ring pick, and that's all you need. So, like once again, you don't need anything fancy, guys, to make feeders. You know, you want to find a cheap way of doing it. As long as it gets syrup in there, it works, right? So, anyways, uh, we just drove into this yard and checked the skunk trap. I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, there's one over there. Uh, but there's no skunk in it, but there was one, so we're good. All right, we'll carry on. Okay, we're just going to pull some syrup out of these barrels. we got a pump set up, so we're just hooking that up right now. Got to love working with syrup. It's so messy. We'll just get things all set up and then we'll show you once we're going. Okay, so if you're gonna be working with bees and sticky honey, it's always good to have a pail of water with you to wash that stuff off. I'm gonna fire up my pump here and then we're gonna fill this up. Uh, I also use the water to prime my pump here so you can see it. Oh, this is the first time this thing's been started this year, so hopefully it starts. Okay, you can stop it now. Okay, so it helps if you actually turn the uh, kill switch on or off, I guess. So yeah, the motor will start. Over here on this side, goes to show first time of the year, you forget. There she 
come. Yeah, I gotta go take the choke off of the motor. Running way faster than this. So maybe there's something plugged up in it, but it's pumping. Okay. Hang on. So it's taking a lot of power to pump this stuff. Last year. Like, that thing's full bore, so something's not running right, or the hose is plugged, or... But it's working, so we'll fill this thing half up, and then keep going, and have to look at this motor and figure out what's going on. But, not too brave with these yet. Anyways, we'll carry our work on, and then we'll fill some tails after, and go from there. Okay, so we filled this up. This syrup must be cold because holy moly is it pumping very, very stiff. Like my pump did not have that problem last year. I think I also mixed, so I just throw some sticks to float in here. The bees are already coming. They're thirsty. Let's put some clover straw on top and a rock so she doesn't blow away. Okay, now we'll go fill some pails here. But yeah, I should have mixed some water in. I think. But go half tails here and then I should almost yeah we'll just fill them here so that we have the syrup on the ground out here instead of in front of the hives. these ones and I'll fill the rest in the truck. Okay, I need this one right here. Let's see if this thing will even start. Hey, let's fill some pails. Just step back a bit. Like this 90 on here, it just works slick. I need to buy that motor. We bought that at Princess Auto here. It was on, well, on sale for $150. So. Makes it a little bit more enjoyable. For me, anyways. So I'm only filling these tails half. this morning probably middle of next week we're gonna unwrap everything so I'll just pull the lids off set them to the side I'll leave the lids off for now that'll be good enough I'm suited now because I don't want to get stung if I can help it collect all 
all this is what we're, what we're gonna wrap. Just putting them off to the side so the wind doesn't get them. Some of these are pretty waterlogged. To hang them up. So these top pillows we got used and they're R20. Set up all my pail. This pallet's full, the other two are only three hives. It's like we counted. So like I said before, these pails are only kind of half full. I don't want them to fill up the brood nest with syrup when they should be laying eggs. So here, I'll just grab this camera here and I'll show you what I did here. So this one here uh, is three hives or four hives, but it's three. This one's dead. And I just flipped the lid so it's upside down. I know it's dead. And then here for number system, we come from farm animal background. So to track our hives, we just write a number in our plugs. So this is hive 306, this is hive 308, 305, etc. And it works pretty slick for us. Okay, I'll give you back this. Here, we'll pop this one here. Okay, I put pollen in our patties and all of these guys. I should move that. They'll get in there. Oh, okay, watch out. Be grumpy. We didn't bring smoke to gay, so we're not gonna play with them too much. So, here, I'll give you that back. Got it, keep it straight. Yeah. They're angry. Angry, hungry, oh. Ow. Yeah, I filled them a little more in half. Yeah, they're they're a little they're a little angry, a little frisky, so that's telling me that that hive needs a little bit of attention. It's also overcast. Anyways, we got everything uh, paled up here. These guys are paled before.
on a pop. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Does this thing work? This hive ain't gonna make it. But we'll see what happens. Okay, anyways. Everything's paled. Um, yeah, so everything's paled. So I guess uh, the biggest thing is this is the first uh, real big job or job we did with the bee truck. And you know what? I gotta say, I've worked with bee trucks before helping other guys. They are sure handy. Having a flatbed. Uh, you know, you can reach over. This one's got the sides on still, but they can come off. Uh, but, you know, you got the barrels in there. You don't feel anything. Definitely got to crawl in the yards in low range. This is standard. It's pretty rough. But, yeah, you know, just reaching in the back of the truck here and getting your stuff. It's a little high, so we bring the stool, but that's light. But, yeah, it was uh, it was super handy. I'm going to like this thing. And then now, also, uh, once we... Uh, now that we have pails out and this is set up, if they need a little bit more, you know, it's just a matter of uh, coming out here and, you know, starting the pump and going again. Uh, last time I bought syrup, I added about an inch of water, maybe, I don't know, maybe three inches of water to the barrel. I didn't do that this time. And it was really hard pumping. So, sorry, I had a bee in my sleeve. Uh, it was really hard pumping, so I think I'm going to have to add a bit of water to that next barrel and uh, see if that makes a difference. So, But yeah, overall, really uh, happy with this bee truck. Bees are looking good, except for the ones that aren't. And don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends. We're not pros, we're just doing bees and farming grain and doing the best we can and yeah we'll be behind we'll do some things wrong but we're still doing it at the end of the day we're still making honey and that's what matters and we're learning every day and as long as you can learn something new every day that's what matters so all right thanks for watching guys uh, we'll try to make more videos and not lose our cool with cameras and stuff so yeah catch you later